Hello Extraordinary, before we begin, I want to ask how many words per minute can you read? Tell us in the comment. An average person reads 200 to 250 words per minute. But don't worry, after watching this video, you can read 700% faster and even more than that. You can read like Jordan Harry, founder of Study Fast, reads 1500 words per minute, or Howard Stephenberg, author of Super Reading Secrets. Holds Guinness World Record for fast reading with a speed of 25,000 words per minute, 10 times faster than average readers. Or maybe you read really like Maria Teresa Calderon holds Guinness World Record for world's fastest reader at 80,000 words per minute speed. Not sure this is possible for everyone, but practicing techniques is key to breaking a record. Why you really need to speed read? Well, in this digital overloaded world, you need to learn more in less time, as former CEO of Google, Eric Schmidt said, on every two days, today we are producing as much information as we did up to 2003. Jim Quick, founder of Quick Learning, because he is really quick, widely recognized world-class expert in speed reading, memory improvement, brain performance and accelerated learning says knowledge is not power it's profit in today's world you don't need muscle power you need brain power and george R. R. martin says a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies the man who never reads lives only one let's move to the techniques top readers like Jim Quick and Jordan Harry say these are not techniques but bad habits of reading. Remember these methods are from top experts and from other sources. That's why some methods are excluded which are no longer helpful after implementing the top methods and these are well explained at this time than any other source. So starting with bad habit number one reduce sub vocalization don't read just understand the information did you know the average reading speed is the same as average talking speed 200 to 250 words per minute jim quick explains you can only read as fast as you can speak and this is because we formed a bad habit when we were children and reading out loud but when teacher said read quietly from then on we still vocalize in minds like children remember you don't need to say or read words in minds you only need to understand them because your reading speed is limited to your talking speed but not your thinking speed Howard Stephenberg says see words as a picture to understand information and don't read each word in mind initially it is difficult to see as a picture and not reading a word but practice by reducing little by little sub vocalization in your head there are some tips and methods to reduce sub vocalization efficiently tip or method number one speed read read faster many people think that Speed reading means loss of comprehension and less retention. But here it's totally opposite. Jim Quick explains, faster readers tend to have better comprehension because they have better focus. It's something like riding bicycle. When you ride bicycle slowly, you wobble. But if you are in a race and riding bicycle or driving a car faster, you will have better focus because you are not thinking something else. At first, speed reading feels uncomfortable. That's why Tim Ferriss, the best-seller author of 4-Hour Work Week, says, when just starting to read anything, read one minute faster, even lose some comprehension around 10%, then go back start reading again to your comfortable speed with full comprehension this will make you feel at lower comfortable speed even if you are completely at your new reading speed always practice before starting to read tip our method number two music 
the right environment. The environment shouldn't be too loud to get disturbed and should not be too quiet to let your mind to wander. To make the best environment, play any music without lyrics. You can play any ambient or classical music. The only thing is to keep your brain at peace and relaxed state. Tip or method number 3. Chew. Some people hum and some people move their lips during reading. To prevent this, Jim Quick recommends chewing something as chewing gum because you can't be humming and talking to yourself at the same time. But make sure the quality of chewing gum should be the best. Tip or method number 4. Press tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth. Jordan Harry says this will create a little distraction but not too much for the brain. And you might think why to distract? Well, Ashish Krishnani explains. I mean, when I applied this and found that sometimes we are in flow and reading pages and pages, our brain and eyes are constantly working to process information but it feels like we are losing control over lower part of the face and it feels a little lazy to gain control and feel active we distract this tip is good to go just press tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth and yeah for this reason chewing is also good but not if you are humming Let's move to bad habit number 2. Increase peripheral vision or perceptual expansion or fixations of eyes. This bad habit is actually mentioned by every top speed reader. So what's peripheral vision? To understand, look at the person's nose, don't move eyes, just focus on nose and you will realize that you can still see eyes and mouth of the person. This is peripheral vision. The ability of eyes of perception for what's around without looking at. Peripheral vision is used to read faster without moving your eyes more on each word. For this bad habit, we have also some tips and methods to increase peripheral vision. But before we move on to it, check this fact. Training peripheral vision to register more information effectively can increase reading speed over 300%. Untrained readers use up to half means 50% of their peripheral vision on margins by moving from first word to last. Spending 25-50% to 50 of their time reading margins with no content. Method number 1 margins are fixation bouncing open a book and set margins on a page by drawing a line or folding a page leaving one word on each side from left and from right these are your margins or fixation points for your eyes now when you read bounce between these two margins and you can see words outside of margins with your peripheral vision. The more you practice, the more you increase your peripheral vision. Remember, the goal is to reduce the eye's movement using fixation points or margins with peripheral vision. You need to set your own margins from leaving one word to two or three. When you feel comfortable, use this method of setting margins by Jordan Harry. Turn page into three columns, then bounce your eyes in the middle word of the first column and middle word of second column and third column. Again, use peripheral vision to read either word either side. This will limit eyes movement by fixing only three points for eyes to see. Here, the middle columns are fixation points for your eyes. Move eyes only on these dots area. Tip or method number 2. Visual Passer Use hand or pen during reading. Why you really need to use a visual passer? Jim Quick 
the world class expert says human beings are inherently attracted to motion because when our ancestors see something moving they know whether there is a lunch or they are going to be lunch movement makes alert and tim ferris explains our eyes jumps when they move they don't have smooth movement it seems that our eyes also has fixations to move on to feel those jumps look at the wall and see horizontally from left to right you will realize the eyes movement is not smooth so visual pressure helps in smooth movement and jordan harry says visual pressure maintains your reading speed and encourages us to read faster howard stiffenberg the record holder writes in his book super reading secrets that use left hand when reading text from left to right like english when you do it it actually feels a natural movement from left to right but if you don't want to just apply other techniques and use your right hand but try at least once with left hand how howard stiffenberg reads 25000 words per minute you can also read but it will take some time if you mastered sub vocalization not reading just understanding information and increased your peripheral vision as much as possible then you don't see and read each word but understand and see as a picture how it is stiffen writes when you feel comfortable with all these read one line and then read two lines at the same time and read three lines and four lines at first don't care about comprehension you can read sometimes more lines and sometimes less but at the same time by moving visual pressure making big or small loops as shown on his book this looks a little impossible isn't it and he claims after practicing these techniques you can read a page in 3 seconds but before you go and start practicing subscribe us and know the last bad habit which is bad habit number 3 reduce regression aka back skipping have you ever found yourself forgetting what you just read at the end of the page and going back to read it it happens due to lack of concentration to improve this first check this fact An untrained subject engages in regression for up to 30% of total reading time. So reduce regression which speeds up reading up to 30% because you have saved 30% more time. To reduce the back skipping, apply tip of method number 1, visual pressure, which we have already explained in detail in peripheral vision. But visual pressure also helps in reducing regression because it guides your eyes. Tip for method number two: visualize. I can understand it is really difficult speed reading and visualizing at the same time. So apply this way: when you are reading any story or incident, then you visualize it as much as possible. Just remember it. If it feels hard, then apply the ultimate way: when you are reading or studying. including any stories then read as you are teaching someone yeah when reading think i am teaching or explaining to others this works best tip or method number 3 gliding by jordan harry cover the sentence or lines you read with credit card or with any like object as you read further glide your card further it removes your safety net as you don't have to go back and reread that's why you will concentrate but remember this technique may reduce your speed so if it's possible for you to read without this then go without it like me but it may help some people who really go back over and over again just try at least once and remember don't overwhelm yourself with all these techniques practice techniques one at a time so these three were the wrong ways or habits which hold us back this video is already long so if you want to know how to read a book with 100% comprehension and retain for longer or how to learn anything fast 
are how to complete a book even with average reading speed it is when you really really need to complete it then subscribe and support us and watch videos like these watch how reading changes brain and makes leaders like bill gates baron buffett elon musk and tony robbins and know their opinions about books join extraordinary to be extraordinary do subscribe and like and thanks for being here till now you can see his on twitter and instagram thank you